Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Hello, Good evening. Good evening. Give me one sec. Give me one sec. How, how are you doing? How's everybody doing? I'm doing well. You're doing? I'm doing just fine. Thanks a lot for asking. I guess I'm doing all right as well. So I'm super happy to see you guys. Uh, hi, Rafael. Good evening. Uh, Cody, uh, great hi, to good see evening. you. Raul, great to see you. Uh, Adrian, good evening. How you doing? Good evening, teacher. It's good. Hello. You're good? Yes. Nice. That's really good to hear. All right. How was your day, guys? Did you have a nice day? Uh, in the in my job, it was a busy day. It was a busy day. Oh, I'm, okay. Well, I know that it's hard sometimes, but the good thing is that when your day is really busy, so the day goes by super fast, and you feel that you have been more productive. So I have always thought that. So the busier you are, the faster the day goes, right? I prefer yeah. to be busy. <laughs> so I, I prefer to be doing something. Uh -huh. So, I mean, it's tiring, but I, but at the end of the day, you say, oh, that was good. Uh -huh, it's tiring. <laughs> yeah, what about the rest of you guys? How was your day? Give me one sec, I forgot my glasses. How, how was your day? I see that Carlos is joining, Claudia is joining as well. Did you have a good day, guys? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you doing? Uh, uh, good, teacher. Uh, great. Great to see you. Carlos, uh, I don't remember to have seen you before. Is this your first day joining us? Or is my memory really that bad? <laughs> yeah. If that is the case, I'm sorry about that. Did you join us yesterday? No, no problem, teacher. Were you, uh, were you with us yesterday? Or is this your first day? Um, and now, now is, and no, um, in class yesterday, um, yesterday, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, um, Aunque sí, es, 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 sí estoy, eh, ayer no estuve en clases, pero sí estoy eh, desde el viernes. No, yes, yes. I mean, I was just like, wait, I didn't see you yesterday. <laughs> so I was having second thoughts. Okay. No, but don't worry. So you are always welcome to join us. I was just trying to okay. test my memory, but I'm glad that you are joining us today. Uh, Luis, good evening. Susana, great to see you. Uh, Irving, thanks a lot for joining us. H how you doing? Are you having a good day? Are you having um, a busy day? How was your day? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm just a little tired uh, because I had a, a busy day. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah. yes, I know, I know. But, you know, we are going to be together just one hour. We are going to try to make it work. And uh, let's make it enjoyable. So everybody, you know, uh, so the time goes by fast as well, right? We have a little homework assignment for today. So there was a little activity we were supposed to be doing that is investigating some tools uh, talking about what they are used for. And I see Adrian like, oh my God, I forgot it. <laughs> so I don't know if you did it. I don't know if you forgot them, but we are going to be sharing them in a couple of minutes. Mauricio, good evening. Great to see you. So glad to see you back. Hi, Monica. Good evening. How are you doing, guys? Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Great, that's really good to hear. All right, so, um, okay, I am missing a couple of guys, but I guess they are going to be joining us later. So I'm going to be like uh, sharing this part with you guys. Um, 
I have here like a couple of pictures. Okay, and let's get creative just for some minutes. Um, it says like on top of it, tell me a story. So let's try to make it work. I don't know how they are related. So we have a hammer, we have like a watermelon. There is a knife over there. We have some log or wood um, floss for your teeth. And then we have like a spray, okay? Um, are you a creative person? Are you that creative? A little? I think no. <laughs> okay. I think I'm not creative. You're not creative. Okay. Well, no, let's let's but... test it. <laughs> let's give it a let's give it a go. All right, and let's see what happens. So I'm we are just it. yeah, of course. Tell me a story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're gonna try to make a story. You can create. You can invent the name of the person. Don't write it down. So just try to connect the pictures. Okay. And and let's see whatever happens. Okay. Uh, do I have any volunteer? Does anybody want to give it a try? Mm. Yeah, but teacher, we need to to use all the the picture. Yes, we need to use all those pictures. <laughs> In Spanish, uh, no. <laughs> the story. Even more than in English. <laughs> well, I know, but that is the challenge. So that is the idea um, to put the same ideas from Spanish to English, so you can give it a try. Can you, can you tell us what is a, a each picture or every picture but absolutely I... absolutely um they don't represent anything no, no, no. so we have for example the first one is just a watermelon with some fruit on it the second picture here that's called a hammer right and the third picture that's a normal knife a kitchen knife mm -hmm. um here this one this is wood or people also can call it log so they are logs or they are wood uh, this is called floss, right? Like for your teeth. So oh. that's floss. Uh, and the last one is a spray. So probably a fly spray or insect spray or a repellent, uh -huh, something like this. So yeah, guys, L let's see how your story goes. Or maybe let's do this. So one person starts and the next person continues the story. Let's see whatever happens, okay? And God help us with this mm -hmm. short story. So Cody, you can get started, you can select the picture, and guys, next person is going to continue Cody's story. Uh, let's just start with the name of the person, okay? Let's think about a person here. Can you invent, mm -hmm. can you think of a name? Okay, uh, the last week I, made the plans with my friends mm -hmm. and we decided to go to the picnic mm -hmm. and um, we we were mm -hmm. we were thinking about uh, the things that we need to to bring to the picnic and uh, one of my friends said that is uh, necessary to 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 bring mm -hmm. an, a knee a knife a knife sorry okay. a knife oh, and good. an spray and an oh. spray <laughs> oh, oh, i like it okay actually that makes sense okay so you use i believe the knife and you use the, the spray right spray. Um, i don't know if in your picnic the watermelon piggy shape was included <laughs> yes but oh, okay I... <laughs> okay no but that's super cool okay mauricio continue uh cody's story please um okay and um well we when we were uh meeting around the uh, meeting in the in the in the garden uh -huh. we start to I, I I start to to make a, a I cut the watermelon and put all the all the fruit 
inside of the watermelon. Mm -hmm. It was uh, very difficult, but we can, we can use the knife, but uh, suddenly mm -hmm. uh, it was a lot of mosquitoes, mm -hmm. uh, flies, and, and we need to spray to kill them. Oh, okay. uh, and after that, one of them uh, took, uh, took a piece of wood okay. and want to uh, prepare the barbecue. Okay. And, uh, no, you know, the, the barbecue, but it was, but the wool was wet. Okay. It was very difficult to, to uh, make a fire. Oh, that was nice. Oh. So the way that you put them together, that was really cool. But we are missing two things. We are missing the hammer. I think nobody mentioned, has mentioned this. And we are missing the floss. Amazing, Mauricio, thank you so much. Let me just pick another victim here. Uh, Raul, you are the next one. <laughs> so continue the same story, right? So let's continue that one. Okay. We have the hammer and the floss. You can just either of them. Okay, good evening. Uh, hey. Well, well, uh, the last so, uh, the last Sunday, mm -hmm. I'll be with Mauricio uh, in the in the garden, and I eat uh, the work the fruit in the watermelon. But okay. uh, I I used uh, brackets and <laughs> uh, say I I had problem with with the uh, how do you say como se construir un objeto obstruction uh, I don't know como, what you want to say uh, como so se, you mean que es almacena eh? comida <laughs> <laughs> so you want some food <laughs> yes and and I okay. I had to use a uh, flows because okay. I didn't uh, get out the the the, the <laughs> lo que me está destruyendo and okay. so uh, i i was help to other uh, partner in oh. the group mm -hmm. for the story oh okay that was really cool so i couldn't find a way to connect the floss but that was really good uh yeah you can say in a beautiful way a store food <laughs> but what happens when you have braces is that the food gets stuck right into your teeth uh-huh so and then you have to use the floss to remove it okay nice but guys we are still missing the hammer so the next person has to use the hammer in this story let me go with uh, Adrian. I see you're ready. So Adrian, how would you use a hammer? What's going on in this story um, that you need to use a hammer for? Okay, good evening. Hi. Uh, the history of the hammer is used to create, um, for example, To create in uh, the fabricants and wood, um, chairs uh, and the so, table. So originally in this story, the guys were having a picnic, right? So they have these watermelon. Um, they use the wood to try to make a fire. Uh, yeah, like a sort of fire. Um, they use the floss because food was stuck there. But we are just missing the chairs. So in this story, with the tables, chairs, uh, and the hammer, <laughs> how can we put the hammer into this? Oh, okay, okay. Mm. The hammer they use is in the picnic. Okay. Is is necessary um, for use. Uh, decoration okay. um, and and then and the use of the nails okay for a uh, piñata oh okay uh, as the polea as the gloves and the other use oh okay okay that sounds really good that sounds all right <laughs> now what a piñata with nails <laughs> 
<laughs> that would be too crazy. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you so much, Adrian. Claudia, yes, I see your hand up. Tell us, Claudia, anything else you want to add? Well, uh, I think that uh, we can use the hammer for for something in this picnic. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Well, when when we were ready to serve the food mm -hmm. uh, on the table, uh, this collapse collapsed. Mm -hmm. um, we had to use a hammer. Uh, 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 that that someone that someone uh, coincidentally um, brought to picnic to the picnic, um, and this tool uh, it helped us or or continue with a picnic and in I don't know evitar evito I don't know how do you uh, say evito avoid avoid ah. Uh, and this, uh, avo uh, this avoided in this case, no. Mm -hmm. Yes. Avoided. Like... This avoided to eat on the floor. Okay. Yeah, so that, that <laughs> definitely makes sense. All right. A different use of, uh, of the hammer, but that's really creative. So you found a solution there as well. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. Um, guys, uh, welcome for the ones who have just joined. Thanks a lot for joining. Sofia, good evening. I see Elvis as, as well. Uh, I see Noemi there. Uh, Sylvia, good evening. Chrissy, thank you guys for joining. So we were trying to make like a, a, a short story using the pictures. And now let's try to go like by, by, um, one by one with the use of these different objects. You have already put them into practice in this short story. Now let's try to give like a little definition, right? What they are used for, uh, why these objects are important. So um, the activity or the homework for today was to look for some tools and think about a definition in your own words, not a dictionary definition, but in your own words, what it is used for. So uh, for example, if we get to the hammer, what is a hammer used for? The hammer is used for fix, fix, uh, I don't know how to say muebles. Furniture. Furniture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know if it's a, a all kind of furniture, but but I think uh, it used a hammer. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, that would be a very nice definition for a hammer. So it is just for uh, fixing, right? So furniture, yes, yes. Uh, tables. Um, it is also used for buildings. Okay, so in, it is used in construction as well. All right, great. Anybody else? Do you want to add something else about the hammer? Yes, me teacher. It's, yes. It's for hammering nails. Oh, it is used for hammering nails. Okay. Um, yeah, because that would be the only one. Or removing, right? So hammering mm -hmm. or removing some nails. All right. Great, 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 great. What about the knife? What is the knife uh, used for? The knife is used for to cut, cut uh, uh, fruit and or meat. Okay. Bread, a lot of things that you do in the in the table. In, okay. In the, the din diner, I have for the. Like mesa, the, how is the, it? Yes, you can use the how, kitchen. How do you take the Of the oh. living, the living room, the dining room. But I think you can use. Uh, you can say in the kitchen. In so the kitchen, that uh, would yeah. be more appropriate, I believe. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, yeah. So the knife is used for cutting things. Okay. Any other use that uh, you can give to the knife? What is it used for? Or to steal. <laughs> <laughs> it is used for stealing. Okay. Oh, it is used for threatening. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ima ima imagine Rafael's mind. Oh, just kidding, Rafael. So it is used um, for threatening people. Yeah, you're right. So we have the word threaten. Yes? 
Uh, sorry, uh, teacher, I, I think um, the knife is used for um, killing a chicken oh, <laughs> and okay. other animals to, to eat after. Ah, okay. And, and also the knife, and we can use it to to cut vegetables okay. and, and fruits. Okay. And in a way, you can uh, decor it or something like that uh, for especially chef. Oh, okay. Okay, sounds good. Yes, definitely. So it can be used for killing some animals, okay, uh, for cutting, right, for peeling also. So it can be used for peeling uh, and for decorating objects. Guys, just a little reminder, after four, because we are talking about uses, we need to use ing. So for cutting, for doing, for peeling, for, so we need ing after four, okay? Um, what about the, the floss, guys? What do you use the floss for? Luis, an idea? Uh, it's uh, for, for take care. Uh, it's used for? For take care of um, For cleaning teeth. your teeth. For cleaning your oh, teeth. Okay, so it is used for cleaning your teeth, okay? For removing um, extra food. <laughs> okay. Yes, okay. Food. Uh -huh, so for removing the remains, right, of food. Mm -hmm. Or in my case, I have braces. So it is used for removing pieces of cilantro <laughs> and things like those, okay? That is very common. All right. Uh, and the last one, guys, a spray. What, what is the spray used for? I Killer guess this supply. is- It used- Killing supplies. A repellent. Okay. And- well, just kill the flies and mosquitoes. Okay. Yeah, some flies, some mosquitoes. All right. Yeah, pretty much. That would be the only use, right? Is there another <laughs> use for the spray? No, right? To get intoxicated. To uh, <laughs> well, but, but that is in an, I don't know. I, I, I was going to say in an emergency, but no, not even in an emergency. Probably by accident or I don't know. Uh, for destroying the planet, probably. <laughs> okay, so guys, let's talk a little bit about your homework then. What are some of the tools that you use at work? Okay, and can you tell us about the use of those specific tools? I know that here we have a lot of people from different areas, and I know that you may use different, I don't know, programs, different uh, physical tools, let's say, I know we have accountants, we have engineers, so we have um, people who study medicine, for example. So it would be really cool to share some specific tools that you normally use. So um, can you give me examples of the tools that you use? Mm, the, more, the most common is the hammer. So yeah, we got hammer. But I'm pretty sure that you use more tools. What do you use, guys? Tools can be a program, for example. Tools can be a specific application you use at work. It can be something physical that you may use. Um, before Adrian mentioned nails, for example. So I'm gonna write, write that down. So nails. Any other thing that you may use at work? What do you use, guys? And in my case, could be uh, nut blocks. Okay, nut block, yes. Mm -hmm. No, it's a block, right? Yeah, block. How so? Uh, nut block. Uh, can you spell that for me, please? I have used a paint roller. Can, can you spell that for me? How so? Uh, Adrian? What is that? Yes, uh, how so? Can you spell that, please? Um, uh, uh, or write in the chat. How yeah, so? Uh, uh, is the tool uh, for, is you mean a house? for metal? For metal. Can you write it in the how chat? And, and uh, the. H A C K S A W. How so? 
Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Uh, any other? Cody, what was the tool you mentioned? The paint roller. When I paint my my room. Oh, okay. Okay. Any other tool, guys, that you normally use? Okay. A screwdriver. Mm -hmm. Screwdriver. Yes. What else? Pincers. Okay. And paper. What was that? Some paper. You mean like tainter? Like for cars? Uh, yes. This one? Like uh, taint. Some paper. Uh, oh, some paper. Okay. Some paper. paper. I thought you meant like um, tainted, like for cars. Okay. Some paper. Any other guys? Bruce. Airman. Okay. Do you say a helmet? Hermes, but I don't know, it's like the protectores, Hermes, like cascos. Computer? Well, I don't know if you mean this one. No, normally, if you're talking, for example, if you're talking about a motorcycle, like the thing that you wear on your head, so that would be a helmet. I don't know mm. if this is the one that you mean, but if you are an engineer, for example, or if you are an architect, uh, the one that you wear has a different name. So that is car, one sec. So it is called, uh, it is called a hard hat. So the name is kind of different. So helmet is just for motorcycles and hard hat is like the yellow one, right? That you use for protection. Um, anything else that we are missing here? I'm going to include a couple guys. I'm going to include a shovel here. Shovel. Um, paint, paint roller. What is that? Mm. Shovel. Uh, that is used in construction or if you have a garden and you need to make a, a hole, if you need to dig a hole. So normally you use a shovel to remove the, the dirt or the earth. So, mm. and I'm going to... Bolt, fill, so bolt, and I'm gonna include blueprints and a stair, a stairway. I don't know if I think you mean a ladder. I'm not sure the, the ones that you can move, right? Yes. If you want to go up, when you need to go up, you can say ladder. stairs, but stairs are um like permanent. Added, uh, you cannot yes. move them. Uh -huh, like you are in the it's first floor. In the floor. Yes, exactly. And this other one, you can move it. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So the, it's a, uh, just that, that's a difference, but it's the Drum. same. Drums. Uh, brom, yes. Brom, brom, brom. Can, can you spell that for me? Uh, is the use of the construction in, for general, brom, B-R-O-O-M. Oh, you mean like a broom? Broom. Uh, but you mean the one that you use at home, like for cleaning? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's in general. <laughs> yes, yes. But I was thinking in construction, what's that? <laughs> I thought it was something like super, super different. Okay, guys. So here we have like a lot of different things that we can use. Um, of course, I'm pretty sure that we are missing a lot. Uh, may, you may not know a couple of them, but that is the idea that we can share, all right? And, the, and that we can explain to each other what it is used for. So remember, uh, the homework was pretty much to use. It is used for, right? Like to talk about the use. And remember that after this expression, I'm going to use ing. It is used for cleaning. It is used for moving. It is used for helping, right? So it is used. And there we go. So guys, I'm going to ask you to join the groups for five minutes. Uh, discuss, right? Don't write it, just discuss the, what, uh, how to use these tools. And if you have more tools uh, from your homework, if you investigated more, share them as well, because we can make, we can get more vocabulary from this one. 
So I'm going to be sending you guys. We have only five minutes, remember? So try to explain really quick what it is and what it is used for. So let's go. Let's go, everybody, five minutes. And then we come back and we are going to share. Y clavos de no sé qué otra cosa entonces steel nails si sí son los clavos de pared steel nails steel okay. nails steel nails okay. steel de acero steel nails uh -huh. okay. ah, okay. steel nails ok steel nails ok now how do you say uñas is not nails too nails yes. nails I, I, I'm getting confused. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, Don't get confused. <laughs> Peter, tell remember, us. remember that um, one word can have a lot of meanings, but what is going to determine the use is the context. So nails is like when you are talking about the verb get. So get has like 15 meanings in English, but what tells you the meaning is the context. So I can use nails, for example, when you're talking about hammers. So I need some yes. nails, right? Um, because I need to hang up a picture on the on the wall, for example. So mm -hmm. nail, that would be uh, something made out of iron, steel, etc. Um, if I tell you, oh, my nails are hard, my fingers hard, I hit my nail. So you're talking about yeah. a part of your body. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. and that would be it yeah so there are only like two meanings for nails but it depends on the context mm -hmm. okay, okay teacher i didn't know yes thank you and what is a helmet 
<clears throat> Anybody knows what is a helmet? Helmet is a for yeah, motorcycle. The, the people in the motorcycle that you put in your head. I think so. That is uh, okay. Okay, thank you. I think so. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what's the difference with hard hat? Before constructions. Okay, is the, the yellow? Yes. The yellow helmet. Okay. Okay. Teacher, do you know do you know how how do you say corbo? Or is an a word? Yeah, I would say that. that's a very Latina word. <laughs> yeah. Um, machete. But yes, knife. exactly. It is sir. a knife. I have I have heard machete. So um, even for kumas because they don't exist. So I would say uh huh like like a machete. So I have mm -hmm. heard it. What else? No, that's the only one. So machete or a knife. But I don't know if there is another word. I have just I heard machete all the time. I thought that it was uh, a big knife. You could say that. Yeah, you could say that. Uh, because there are some words that they don't really exist in USA. Like, for example, pila. So in El Salvador, we do have pilas, right? For washing some clothes or the dishes. But they don't really exist. So they are sinks. Um, so the same happens, but you can just match it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. My husband uses uh, because he works in, in remote working. As uh, as we know uh, nowadays, it is very common to work uh, at home. And for example, um, the tools that we use for for this kind of work, uh, we have absolutely <laughs> computer or laptop, and it is used for for working. And, in remote working and and to make um, some file that your boss can um, can um, get the pidan uh, or that um, and also we have a webcam and is used for video conferencing uh, when you have to some meaning and also uh, we need a microphone um, on the other hand we have um, an ergon for building houses okay uh, there's a how so is using for cutting metal. Cutting, 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 cutting metal. Cutting metal. The okay. first one. It's how so. How so is using for cutting metal. It's just cutting. Okay. It's used for cutting metal. Cutting metal. The paint roller. Paint roller is used it's to. Used. It's used to painting. Painting the wall. <laughs> painting the wall. <laughs> or, uh, or or painting no. uh, pictures. Paint roller art. is using for coloring at home, for example. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Painting ball. Okay. 
Okay. Next. A screwdriver is used for. Uh, how do you say uh, tornillo? No, and this is. Uh... Screw. Screw is tornillo. Destornillador, but you need to a tornillo for to use a, a screwdriver. Mm -hmm. So you need a screw. Uh, yeah. How do you say? It's a screw. <laughs> so it's a screw screwdriver, it's a screw, it's... and then driver. Ah, it's screw, okay. So you need a screw. Uh -huh. It's used to screwing. Screwdriver using for joining things together. For joining things together. Uh, Things. Uh, a Things. screwdriver is used to a screwing. It's something like. Teacher, can, can you help? Can you help me or help us with the, some exercise in the platform, please? Uh, absolutely. So I think this is a good time so we can do it. Are you having difficulties in the platform? Yes, in the section 1.9. 1, 1. I think we can do it. Give me one sec. Just let's wait for everybody to be back. Oh, okay. Let's just wait for the rest of the guys to be back. How was your practice, guys? Did you have any difficulty with the vocabulary with practice or are you good? Are you fine? It was really nice. Yeah, it's very useful. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, guys. Um, now we do have a point uh, that we are going to review with a passive voice, but um, it looks like you are having difficulties with one exercise from the platform. So let's get to that. And if we do have enough time, we are going to go over passive voice like little by little. Uh, the exercise dimension is one point nine, right? Yes, it's right. I have okay. a question. Okay, no problem. So it says here, complete the sentences using present, a simple present passive form of the verbs in brackets. And remember the structure, B plus past participle. Okay, guys, before helping you out with some exercises, I want you to take a look at the structure here. It says complete the sentences using simple present passive form. In the previous class, we reviewed the passive voice, but using simple past. So everything was in past. And if you remember, you were saying like, uh, the Great Wall of China was discovered, was created, was built. Cre uh, mm -hmm. America was discovered. But those sentences are in past. How do I know? Because we are using was was, was created was in exactly was in this invented. case we can use in, in is or Good are or yes exactly has. in this but case I, yeah. we are going to use the same structure but the difference is that it's a simple it's present, present. uh-huh okay. so i'm going to use the three form um is mm -hmm. and are so let's take a look okay. at it so let's take a look at it. Um, it's because passive voice can be used in all the tenses in English. You can use it for present, for future, uh, for with present perfect, for example. We haven't checked all of them because there are a lot, but let's get to this point. If I have, for example, many crops and I need to use passive voice, I need to use verb be. Because yes. it's a simple present, I cannot use was or were, but I'm gonna use only am, is, mm. or are. What is the best word to use here? It's uh, are. Are. 
I'm gonna write it in lowercase. Okay, so many crops are, okay, and I need to use the past participle of grow. So grow, 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 and grow. Okay, there we go. So let's give it a try. Okay, so I'm gonna go all the way down. Let's submit it and let's see if we did it well. Yes, no, there we go. So it's because no. the instruction, the instruction uh, is quite difficult sometimes because we get used to seeing uh, this in passive, in past, you know, so passive voice in past but it, is, it can be used in present as well. And actually the next exercise that I have for you is truly re related to this. Give me one second. I'm gonna share this over to you so we can you know, complete them and then we'll get ready for the exercises. This is the one. Okay, so here we have, uh, we have present and we have past. So first, let's uh, split them, okay? Let's put them in different categories so we can identify which are present and we can make them passive in present. Um, which of the sentences are in present? From the ones that you see here, which are in present? Cleans, uh, cleans my shoes. Okay, that is number four, right? Four. Okay, yes. number four, what else? Number one. The first okay. one. Number one. Yes. Mm, just that. Okay, that's Only all right. That. Okay, perfect. They are in present, so the passive voice in them the only difference is Burby has to be present. That's it. So I have he usually buys the tickets. So he usually buys what? How can mm -hmm. I make this into passive? How can I make number one into passive? Let's start with the what? What is bought? The tickets. Okay. So the tickets. Tickets. I need to use verbi and past participle. So verbi would be is, are, or am. What do you think? Are. The tickets are, are because the sentence is in present. And then the past participle of by. What is the past participle of by? Both. Both. Very good. Yeah. Oops, sorry. I'm missing one letter. So mm. the tickets are bought. Um, I have, usually I have he. Do I need them? Not really. But let's include who did it. And in the video, in 1.8, you see that the by is not necessary unless you consider that you really, really need to know who did it. So I cannot use he, but I'm going to use um, another word right here, okay, that is a pronoun, a personal pronoun. So the tickets are bought by him, that's it. That is the difference between present and past passive, there to be. Imagine, uh, oh, let's take a look at number two. Number two says, we booked the flights. That is past. So the passive voice means, because the sentence is in past, very be here has to be in past. Can you help me with number two? We booked the flights. What did we book? The flights. The flights. The flights. Okay. This is past. Yes, very be has to be We're past. Booked. We're booked. Exactly. Booked. That's it. All right. Well, I don't really but, need by sure, us. What the means of book? Book as a verb means to make a reservation. Oh, okay. So when you make, when you travel, for example, you need to book a yes. hotel or you need to book a flight or you need it's to like book a room. So you make a reservation, okay. exactly. So okay. I know that we see the word book like, oh, not book, book. <laughs> no, but it's to make a reservation uh -huh, in traveling. Okay. okay. Uh, number three, guys, can anybody help me with number three? Or can you write them in the mm. chat? So if that is easier for you and you can practice at the same time. Mm, the bottle was opened easily. Oh, very him. nice, exactly. So the bottle was opened easily by him, okay? Very good. What about number four? Number four is in present. She cleans mm. my shoes. Mm -hmm. my, my shoes. My shoes. <clears throat> was cleaning. My shoes. Where B has to be in present. 
uh, are clean. Exactly, my shoes are cleaned. Uh, is it okay if I say my shoes were cleaned? Yes, it is okay. Mm -hmm. But the idea changed, all right? So mm -hmm. this is in present. So the, my idea in past, it has to be in present. So my shoes are cleaned. I'm talking about pressing a steel. Number five, they arrested the burglars. Burglar, burglar. is like a thief. Mm -hmm. Burglar is the person um, who enters or breaks into your house. You see a thief in the street or a robber in the street, but a burglar mm -hmm. enters your house. So they arrested the burglars. Okay. The burglars were mm -hmm. arrested by the by oh, them. Very good. The burglars were arrested by them. Can we eliminate by them? Yes. And that is yes. okay. There is no problem. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Guys, what about number six? Can anybody help us with number six? The note was written by him. Amazing, that sounds good. All right, what about number seven? The car was washed by them. Oh. That is perfect. So the car was was washed, right? The car them. are washed. Mm, that is a good thing, that is a good thing. Here we have washed, this is past. So verb B has to be in past, the car, was. The car are was. In past, the car was. was. Your sentence is good. Only verb B, we make it past. Mm -hmm. The car was washed. Okay. The car uh, was. What about number eight, guys? Yeah. She found teacher. the key. Yes. Yes, Carlos. Okay. Uh, the key. I, teacher. Yes. You can you can write in the answer in, in the chat, please. Uh, this oh. one's. Um, all. Oh, I can actually. Um, uh, number, um, number, um, three, f five and six, please. Five and six. Oh, sure, no problem. Give me one second. I'm gonna write it here in the screen so everybody can have visibility. So, the number five says they arrested the burglars. So, the burglar is the person. So, uh, that would be the burglars. Because this is plural, I'm going to use this in plural. And it's in past, so I'm going to use the plural form in past of verb to be. The burglars were arrested. And there you go. So the burglars were arrested. Um, why Thank not you, present? Teacher. Why not the burglars are? Because this is in past. Thank this you. is done. This is completed. Number six, he wrote the note. Again, this is past. A note. But the word the note is singular, right? Not the notes. This is singular. But it is in past. For singular words in past, I'm going to use was. The note was past participle of right. That is written. The note was written. Can you include by him? Yes. Is it necessary? No. So we can omit this. The note was written by him. It is exactly the same if I say the the note was written that's it all right uh, guys are you following me do you see the difference between present and past yes. passive yes yes uh, do you have yes. any question yes. any doubt mm. no no i think so no we're good okay so help me with the last two we are missing number eight and number nine what do you have in number eight she found the key. The key, the key was, key was, the found. Key was found. found. Amazing, exactly. So the key was found. I don't care. I don't know who found it. I just want to know that the key was found. And number nine, he sold his coin collection. Coin collection uh, <clears throat> was because it's singular, right? Mm -hmm. The coin was collection sold. was was sold. was sold exactly sold. exactly so the coin collection was sold and that's it all right so exactly so just be careful with the instructions i have to say uh, if it says past passive verb has to be in past 
If you see something that says present passive, so this verb be changes, and I am going to use the verb be in present. The coin collection is sold. For example, let's talk about uh, Bad Bunny. Everybody I think is talking about Bad Bunny concert, Bad yes. Bunny ticket. Okay. Yes. So I want to say, guys, that in present, that today, just están vendidos. So I want to say, se vendieron, right? No me interesa quién los vendió. Mm. I just want to say, están agotados, están vendidos. The so ticket. the tickets, uh huh, como es en presente, the tickets. Mm -hmm. Hard. 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 Sold out. Exactly. So the tickets are sold oh. out. All right. And that is present. But for example, tomorrow, and uh, to tomorrow the story will be different. And everybody will say, will be saying, okay, los tickets se vendieron, se agotaron en dos horas. So the tickets, I cannot use art anymore because it's in pass. Ah, that is the difference. The, ticket was, so the tickets were well, sold out in two hours. That is the sure. use of passive. No quiero saber quién los vendió because I don't know. I just want to mm -hmm. know that there are no tickets anymore. So that is super, super useful. Very cool. And yeah, and that is passive. Guys, I have some exercises for you so we can practice. But because of the time, I'm going to give them, a, I'm going to assign them as homework. Give me one second. Okay. I selected four questions for you. Everything is related to passive voice. Because we don't have too much time today, I want you to select one, only one question from the ones you have here. Write your answer or prepare your answer. And tomorrow you share with us. It says, are teenagers given too much freedom these days? Do they need to be controlled? So I'm not saying that parents should do it. I am focusing on the teenagers. Are teenagers given too much freedom, right? What do you think? Yes or no? Have you ever been punished or made to pay for something that you didn't do? My question no es ustedes han castigado a alguien. My question is, have you ever been punished? Alguna vez fueron castigados, right? Have you ever been punished? No, no es importante quién los castigó. <laughs> not your parents, not your teachers, not your neighbors, sino si fueron. Uh -huh. If you ever were punished or if you made to pay yeah. for, uh, if you had to pay for something that you didn't do. Try to remember, try to think about it. The next one says, what okay. is the nicest thing that has been done for you? Again, yes. has been done. No quiero saber las cosas que ustedes han hecho. I want to know the things that, has been, that have been done for you. Las cosas que les han sido hechas, right? Algo que les han hecho que ha sido lo mejor. So the nicest sí. thing that has been done for you. Maybe a favor. Maybe some, you got some help. So what has been done for you? And the last one, do you think children are spoiled? Guys, what is the meaning of spoiled? Spoiled. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar sí. with the word spoiled? No? Does anybody know? I mean, oh, no. spoiler. Uh, Los spoilers. <laughs> no. Okay. Spoiler is, is different, right? Consentido. Consentido. Thank you oh, so much. No, no, no. Do you think children <laughs> are spoiled these days? Like, Los padres los consienten demasiado. Are children spoiled too much? And why? So, select one, only one of the questions, okay? Y las discutimos mañana. So, preparen una, una breve descripción de why, right? Some details, and you share this with us tomorrow. Uh, guys, uh, thanks a lot for your amazing participation today. I definitely hope to see you tomorrow and, and prepare one, only one of the questions, and you tell us about it tomorrow. Um, I have another class, so I have to let you go. I'm sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> but have an amazing day. Have an amazing night. Okay. Good night. Bye. Have a good night. one, guys. Bye -bye.